Let's start another part of Toy Story 2. We're going to go to Owl's Toy Barn. Not much to say there. We're just going to start. Let me just get e uh, Okay, there. Oh god, the game is way too loud. Okay. Do, 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 do. Owl's Toy Barn. Super excited, because this is like the first basically new level I'm in. Because like, I started playing this game like two years ago, or three years ago. It was kind of a long time ago. And... I was on a stream, but it was when I was, like, small and I didn't use my mic or anything. And I stopped around this part because I just, I don't know, I didn't feel like streaming again. But now I'm kind of back into it and I'm kind of full-fledged with it. So, yeah, now I'm actually back at the level again. Pretty cool. The hay bale ride will buck you over to the chick on the gumball machine. But it will stop if you leave the area. Unlock the rocket boots and jet over to the shopping cart to solve this puzzle. Okay, so I need an upgrade for this, basically. Is that right? There's a lot of description, so I'm a little confused, but it's okay. There's a lot of words here. Yeah, I need rocket boots. That's okay, I got an excuse to listen to this song again. How are y'all doing? Okay, um, one second. I'm back. Oh, oh god, wow, why is there freaking hot slime in the toy store, too? Hasn't this place open? Actually, that's a good question. Why, why is there no people here in the movie? Is it just closed? On the day that they come in? Like, that seems kind of weird. Like, you would think it would be open during the day. But maybe it wasn't a business day for... The store, I don't know. Hi Buzz, you need to you need rocket boots cross over wait, no, that's that's freaking Slinky's voice. You need rocket boots that I can't do Mr. Pigman. Across to the shopping cart. But I'm not missing on. I will I will let you use the rocket okay. Why does he always give me the upgrades? Where does he even get these things? Hey over here, Buzz. Hey over here, Buzz. No, I can, I can do, like, the southern accents for some reason, but not, like, like, whatever potato head voice is. Kind of like a New York type voice a little, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, look at all the buzz. Buzz light here. It's Pog. It's Pog. I don't really know where to go, honestly, but this level is really cool. Music fits the vibe. What? Why is there a chicken? In time, you can keep the chick that you find. Come back and see me after you've got the chick. Okay, well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Oh my god, what am I doing in this level? It's a really cool looking level, but it's like a labyrinth almost. Yeah, I know, right? 
It looks just like in the movie, too. Oh, yo, I found the chick. You know what that sounds like? When he's like, whoa. It reminds me of freaking Sandbert from Rivals of Aether. He's like, whoa, in that voice, exactly. Almost. No, no. Sandbar sounds just like that, because he's like, wow! To anyone who has, like... I mean, honestly, it's on Switch, too, so if you want to play Rivals on Switch, you could, but, like, Rivals is a really good game. Recommend it to any Smash fan. It's fun. Especially on Steam, though, because mods and fun stuff. Yeah, look at all the, those basketballs just flying around. I don't know if they can get if they got the rights to that. That would be really funny, but I don't know if they have them in here. Heck, where the heck is Barbie? That was like the most memorable part of Els Toyborn in the Barbie Isle. Other than the Buzz Lightyear part, of course. It's like the funnest part of the movie, so you gotta go out with a bang with the level. Five missing chicks and come back and find me, I'll give you a Pizza Planet token. He is bowling. True. Um, oh, I move it this way. I wonder what the next level after this will be. I mean, after this, they pretty much go right to the freaking apartment. So maybe it'll just be like the elevator thing. Slash vents. I don't know how you'll make a level out of that, but like... I mean, that was a big part of the movie, and they're... Oh wait, actually, you know what? There'll probably be some kind of like vehicle chase level, kind of like in Toy Story 1, where, like, they had you going on RC, and it was, like, Daytona. They literally call it Daytona in the game, I think. But, um... Yeah, there'll probably be a chase thing where you ride around to get to the... with the Pizza Planet thing. Buzz is not balling. Yeah, the, the fake, wait, actually, you know, I wonder, will the fake Buzz be in this game? Or will they just continue the, will they just do the whole movie plot without him? Like, what about that part where Buzz is trapped by the fake one? I wonder if he'll get separated from the other toys. Like in the movie. Or maybe they'll just choose not to do that storyline at all. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really add that much to the story. It, it was kind of just there for fun, but I liked it. I liked that part of the movie, too. But, like, you get an excuse to have a delusional funny buzz again without it being the same buzz. I also don't really know where I'm going, so that's fun. Toy Story 2 is like peak Buzz Lightyear, honestly. Definitely the best movie for him. Though he is kind of cool in 3, too. Oh my god, why is there so many paraplanes trying to kill me? Hey, yo, there's the vents. Buzz is sus, guys. I forget I have this laser sometimes, because I used to spin move a lot.
Okay, what's the point of that event, exactly? Where's that cowboy I heard about, too? The one that's on TCRF. Wait, you know, I could get... Um... Potato Head's arm. If I... Go this way. Oh, okay, cool. Token. Oh, crap, I don't have a lot of time for this one. You know what? That's okay, I know how to... Ow. Oh. Okay, I should have saved. You know what? Part of the fun is not saving, though. Okay, I will this time. Damn it. Honestly, Traveler's Tales is an underrated developer. They made some pretty peak games. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Bruh. That was sick. That was sick, man. Got the token. I mean, I don't know. I didn't mind 3D. I, I actually kind of like 3D Blast. Even if it's... A lot of people didn't really like it, but I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, it's not as good as, like, the classic Sonic game, sure, but it's, like, it's better than frickin' Sonic Spinball, in my opinion. Like, I don't hate Spinball, by the way, but, like, I don't know, I'm just not good at it at all. You can, you can point that to a, spill, a skill issue, but, like, I don't know, it's, like, the hardest pinball game I've ever played. Wow, I'm like the only person that likes 3D Blast. I mean, I used to play it at my freaking grandma's on the Genesis I had, so... I don't know, I just have a weird attachment to it. But like, it's fun. Like, my brother just had his Genesis... I guess he just left the Genesis there or something, and then I, I would play like Sonic 3 and like... Sonic 1 on it, and Sonic 2. Well, what was that? That's usually where I played the retro games at. Hmm. That's weird, but I guess it's not built for everyone. Is it really that bad? Guess not everyone can handle that overhead perspective thing, but like, what else? That's fair. It's valid. Wait, where's his arm? Oh crap, it's across from here. Damn it. I will get the arm. Where is Ham in this level? He's been unusually absent. You should play Sonic Labyrinth. That will do you better, I think. Cap. Yeah, the music's easily the best. Layering issue. 
Look at look at Potato Head. His his legs are like he shouldn't look like that from that point of view. Yeah, that was that is definitely a layering issue. Bruh, look at this guy. You can see him from over there. That's not how that works. Yo, I got rocket boots. Okay, how do I use them? Oh, holy crap. Okay. Oh, I can't use them in slime. That's fun. I like the little upgrades you get throughout the game. I wonder if he gets a utility belt upgrade. I mean, that would make sense, right? And it's said to do something with the rocket boots, right? I feel like usually Traveler's Tales music has good... I mean, Traveler's Tale games have good music. Hey, bro, I will buck you over to the chick on the gumball machine, but it will stop if you leave the area, unlock the rocket boots, and jet over to the shopping cart to solve this puzzle. That's a lot that's process, man. Like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I gotta get a chick to a gumball machine with the hay bale or something. Oh wait, basically the rocket boots are just to get there really fast. I think that's what they're talking about. Okay, and then I gotta get to the shopping cart over here. Wait, what? It said to get to the shopping cart, didn't it? Man, I am puzzled. Okay, let me look at this up. Yeah, I might need to get on top, but isn't the only way with that trampoline? I thought the only way to get up there was using the trampoline with that skateboard. It like cancels out even from in this area. Is there another shopping cart? I mean, there might be. Oh, there's one over here. Um, I don't know if that's what the game wants me to do, but I could try playing around with the rocket boots and see what I can do. Oh, wait, you know what? I think I get it now. Okay, so you're supposed to rocket across the counters. Yeah. Okay, I see now. This makes sense. Okay, I get it now. The models are pretty good for PlayStation 1, though. Like, everything looks like it should. It looks like Toy Story. Okay, dang it. I'm gonna make a safe state next time. For now, I'll just blow everything up. Figured out the puzzle. I think. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Gumball machine. Damn it. Okay. We 
We got this. Come on, Buzz. Those rocket boots are kind of fun. Wait, did I do it? It said I have to get the check. Yeah. That's all I need to do, right? Okay. Three chicks. I wonder if there's more. Well, I didn't really go this way yet. You know what? I have an idea. Remember when I told you about Rivals of Aether Sandbird earlier? I'm gonna play the voice clip and you'll decide how similar it is to Buzz. Sandbert voice. Wait, I have to find it. Sandbert voice. Okay, it doesn't show me any rivals of Aether. What the heck? Oh, wait, here. Wait. He's gonna do it. He sounds like that. He's like, ah! Okay. Let me just comparison. Buzz? Sandbird. Crap, the link is gone already. It sounds just like it. <laughs> Bruh, Sandbird is just buzz. I don't know if the clip was actually playing, but whatever. I, I did my comparison, it's funny. To all two people that have played Rivals of Aether and also get this game, there's your comparison. Quirky in the RPG Isle. True. Bruh, he just died. Okay, I have like no lives. I should be careful. Okay, I need to be careful. I need to keep the, the coins that I, I unlocked. Wow, there's no rock and sock and robots in here. I think we might be screwed, guys. Oh, wait, do I need to unlock those? I see. Apparently a toy disc launcher is strong enough to knock off the locks on a freaking locker. Come on, come on here. Hey, this is kind of like the other level. Reused asset. No, I'm just kidding. It's a good game. Damn it. Wait, what am I even supposed to do?
Have y'all played Cars for the GameCube? I've heard good things about it, but I don't know if it's a good game. I never played it. Wow, there's just a token right there. Getting all the tokens right now. You know what? I actually played quite a bit of Toy Story 2 for the V-Smile. I know you've probably never heard of what the heck a V-Smile is, but it's basically this children's entertainment console for, like, small children. It mostly just had, like, edutainment games, but... It was kind of cool for what it was. It had a Shrek game. Bruh. Cars on the GameCube. I would like to hear about it. We basically had these edutainment games, and... Most were licensed games, and, um... There were some... There was a lot of Disney and Pixar games on it. And... I had a Shrek game. And the music in the game was literally all just Ocarina of Time music. Like, they stole Zelda music. Like, it doesn't even just sound like Zelda, it is literally the music from Ocarina of Time. I, I feel like I shared that once, but it's pretty funny. Oh yeah, do you know Rex? The Toy Story 2 game, I remember being pretty fun on it, but, I mean... I'd have to see if there's an emulator I can use to play that game on, because, like, you know... Who's gonna know how to capture card of E-Smile? And even if it did, it's probably, like, a $300, like, system. Or something. I don't know, does anybody... Is anybody looking for this? Maybe it's rare now. Bruh. Lightning McQueen doing like an epic jump. No! Wait, how do I get across? There has to be a way. Oh yeah, I could just use this. Okay, that didn't help apparently. Fine, I require your hints, Rex. You're just talking to from Mario Odyssey. Wait, there's a dinosaur? Why a dinosaur? This is Al's toy barn. Bro, that sounds sick. I know what you have to do. Wait, I don't have hover boots though. No it's rocket boots, but there's Yeah, okay. He won't give me hover boots till later. Oh, so I guess I can't do everything yet. So does that mean the chicks I collected were for nothing, and I have to recollect them? Because that would be annoying. Oh, bruh, I want to see that. To beat the dinosaurs, boss, to get a pizza planet token. Holy crap. Holy crap. The dinosaur, it can shoot real fire. No wonder this toy is in the back. It's, it's, it's not a safe toy. It must be contained. Bro, that was kind of easy. That was weak sauce. I got most of the tokens, though, actually. This isn't that hard of a level. Compared to the other two I played. I would say it's about medium. Some of the things are kind of tricky, but it isn't too hard. Damn, I think I'm stuck here now. I mean, I could look up a guide to get the chicks, but... I feel like I'm gonna need the rocket boots for the rest of whatever.
Wait, didn't he literally say that anyway? I need the rocket boots to get up to a chick in this room. Ah, damn it. So I collected some of those chicks for nothing and I have to do it again. The game doesn't save the fact that I collected them. Dang. Only the tokens are saved. Yeah, I think I'll quit the level now. Probably did enough. Not bad. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. Nice call. I have a save state. Well, I'm not collecting those coins again, so I'm safe stating back. And going this way to give coins to him. I forget where Ham is. I think he was like in some. Oh wait, he was back here. I think. Where is Barbie? Oh wait, what's this? Is there a check up here? Okay, I think I, I mean, I found a new area in the process. Dang, I can all get all the chicks, but one of them. That was, that was kind of sick. Where the heck's Ham? Ah, oh, I have to beat the dinosaur again. Good point. I forget where Ham is. I should just tell, ask Rex, but I don't know. I thought, I thought him was back here, I don't know. Maybe he's by the... Oh wait, I think he was by the, the shopping cart, I don't know. I think it was on one of these counters. Bro, this laser's OP. Where are we going next? Ow. 
Owl Space Land. Okay. Okay. Maybe this is just the Buzz Lightyear Island, but as a level too. Yo. Bruh, okay. There he is. Bruh. I like how it has those old movie smoke lines that appear. Wow, so the audio is so crunch. Like the funniest part. Oh, it doesn't even show the part where he's trapped. Wait, am I? Am, where, where's the level here? He already got messed up by other boys. Oh, okay. Did he just put me in space land? The music is cool. Not gonna lie. What? Are you, okay, this level makes no sense. Now they now they're in like some area that's this pizza planet. Like Like what what in what context like not only do they have the scene where Buzz is like trapping the other Buzz, like, okay. You didn't you didn't see him trap him yet to be fair, but like But also apparently there's a whole like pizza planet like area in Al's Toy Barn and we just didn't know about it. Apparently. I kinda get it though, like you can't have a Toy Story game without a pizza planet like location, even if it wasn't in the movie. Like wait, was that the Okay, that scared the hell out of me. Was that the freaking aliens? Okay, my eyes are bothering me a little bit. Sorry. Um, they just went like, oh. That was scary. Oh, I have to save the aliens, don't I? Also, they're not even sold at Owl's Toy Barn. They're only found at Pizza Planet. That's why they have the little Pizza Planet icon on them. This goes against the Toy Story canon. I'm sorry. Though, I mean, it's kind of fair for them to think, because, like, oh, Buzz Lightyear, he's from space. The aliens must be from the same franchise, right? No. They're from Pizza Planet. They have nothing to do with Buzz, even though they're in the cartoon. So maybe they were sponsored by Pizza Planet or something, and that's why the aliens are in the show. I don't know. There's all kinds of things you can think of to justify it, I guess. There's a lot of lore here. Oh my god, that laser robot is so annoying. Oh. Ah. You know what, these are just Jinjos now. I never thought about it, but the five things you collect in each level, that's just Jinjo. It's from Banjo Kazooie. Jinjo! I mean, to be fair, Al's Toys Barn is a pretty big store. Maybe we just didn't see this aisle in the movie, but like, arcade machines being in a toy store? Let's see. Mr. Martian? Is that their name now? Okay, this, this goes against completely all Toy Story canon and logic right here. This right here. I must destroy it. They're destroying the cannon. I, side note, I don't care that much. I think it's kind of funny, actually. But, yeah, I just like the 
riff on the material for being derivative. But I mean, it's a video game, so it's like, whatever. It's fun. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm wearing my... I, I think it makes more sense to wear this right now. There. We got our aliens. It's on the hat. A lot of Zerga cars. Man, this level's big. I like the little Zerg Zerg robots here. Bro, what the heck is that thing? Okay. I feel like some of the lines sound like they're recorded by Tim Allen, and the other lines sound like they're recorded by someone else. Mrah. Holy crap, wait, I get- I have a laser, and I will use it. What the heck? He's trying to- Okay, okay. The level redeemed. Buzz Lightyear's in a freaking buggy and he's trying to kill me. That's kind of raw. I won't lie. Level redeemed. This looks like something from, like, stupid anti-piracy screen or something. Bruh. It's so kind of, like, cheap-looking. And just put the screen from the movie where it's, like, Buzz is just, like, No, Woody's gone. That was so silly. Okay, I have low health, but I can try to beat him. My laser isn't that effective, actually. Aw, oh, man, this guy's annoying. Okay, the spin, spin the win. Spin the win. Yo! I beat Buzz. Oh, but this time the boss isn't dead for once. I mean, you can't just kill the other boss. That would be unruly of you. I come in peace, even though I just destroyed your whole thing. Oh, there was health the whole time. I mean, it only gave me a little bit, though.
Also, isn't it 2003 on the Civic? I guess in this case, a 1998 Honda Civic. Or a 1999, I mean. That's fun. That's fun. Oh, there's that quirky indie game aisle again. Oh, I think I'm gonna need this. Wait, what the heck is that there for? They have the shield, but I don't really see why I need it. I mean, it's kind of here. Also, it hinders my jumping ability, so that's fun. And you know what, CF? You know what other game Childer's Tale made? They made Super Monkey Bowl Adventure. You should play that. That's the real reason they went to making Lego games. They made Monkey Ball Adventure and it was never the same. Evil Emperor's Urn. Hi, I just need to get a screen of this. For mood eye purposes. Okay, there. No, wait, that's not a good enough screen. Oh. There. That's a good screen. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? This level's kind of confusing. We're back to confusing levels. Oh my god! Stop shooting! Oh, frick. Okay, just checking if my camera is working still. Don't want it to be like the first time. Where it wasn't working. Man, where are all the aliens? This is... must... Oh! I, f I found one. Okay. Thank you. Just as I was saying, too. Oh my god, this level is like a whole laser death trap. I hate it. Like, the level design is okay, but the enemies are annoying. I'm sorry. Like, why is it doing this? Okay. I'm kind of making it pass. Although, I'll admit it, the laser effects look cool. It's funny, because in the movie, there's only, like, one Zerg. It must have sold out, but, like, here, there's, like, a bunch of them. Oh, three. Three of them. Okay, 
right now I just gotta figure out where the other two oh I almost have yeah this level is definitely one of the biggest reaches I've seen in the game like I mean okay them going to a construction yard that probably doesn't really make sense but maybe they went to one like off screen we didn't see like there was a lot of jumping around like it was nighttime like there's kind of an excuse there like we don't know to what lengths they went through other than they went through a bunch of neighborhoods so like you know that kind of makes sense that they made that up but like a whole part to Owl's Toy Barn that's somewhat improbable oh yeah I forgot to go with this way with all those arcade machines I was complaining about you know what Theory. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll put a bunch of arcade machines in here to compete with the Pizza Planet. You know what? Let's make it part of the lore. This is this is Al's competition. Not only did he put the aliens here and try to get part of the rights to the aliens, the solid store, but he also put in arcade machines and other novelties to detract from Pizza Planet. Plus. This pit right here. Oh yeah, he's playing Veer and Rex, don't you know? Laser battle zone. Oh, that's what that was? The laser battle zone. That makes sense. The mothership. Sorry, more mood eye nonsense. I need I need a source for his name. Oh, I mean her name. Sorry, the mothership. What am I saying? Wait, there's a flying saucer that wants to challenge me to a race? Waiting at the start of the zipline course. Oh my god, look at his face. Honestly, it kind of looks like they just took, like, clip art and they put it on a model. At least for Rex, it looks like that. I mean, like, look at his face. Like, I never examined the model that closely, but it does look like they kind of just took the one from the movie and slapped it on a model. Kind of like PS1 Hagrid. I think they just used a photo from the movie and kind of cobbled that together. I mean, how else would you end up with PS1 Hagrid? Oh, I see now. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Oh yeah, huh? I need to move this claw somehow. Oh. Oh, I see. I like how it's playing literal space invader sounds. I mean, this game was like published by Activision, right? Didn't they own the rights to space invaders in the US? I don't know. Be right back. Sorry, I sneezed. Okay, back. Pretty fun game so far, though. And I'm making good time on it, too. Dang it. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace.
Dang it. This is hard. So I think you move it like two directions and then it gets it. Oh, I see now. Damn it. And all the, all the meanwhile, Rex is screaming. Like, constantly. Shut up, Rex. Token sucks. Okay, I'll let's away. I don't know if that's quite enough either. No, that's like way off. Here, I'll just try it like this. This shouldn't be that hard. I'm just having trouble with it for some reason. Oh, that's really close. Hey, I did it finally. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. That's to be an alien here. The music kind of reminds me of Mario Sunshine's boss theme. It's like dun 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 dun. Also, I have enough coins for him, so I'll just go back to him later. Of course, somebody's conveniently placed soda is enough for me to get. Yep. Do you see the names of these arcade machines? They knew. They knew. It's it it was the prophecy was written right here. It's the prophecy, guys. It's called Lightyear. The name of a movie from like twenty something years later. I mean, yeah, that's also just Buzz Lightyear's name, but like, still, it says just Lightyear. It was prophesized a long time ago that there would be a product called Lightyear. It wasn't a video game, but it was a movie. The music kind of reminds me of The Simpsons, for some reason. Okay, what am I supposed to do up here? Nothing? Maybe I, I can make that jump? Looks like kind of a stretch. Aha! I'm a genius. Bruh, this ball pit looks so funny. How did he even get in here, man? Also, how do kids get in here? Doesn't seem like very unless maybe they just close it off after a certain period of time and then there's a glass like container. I don't know, it doesn't seem practical though. Okay, it was a rough start, but I'm doing good on the level now. Okay, let's look for him.
going back to that laser aisle. Oh, over here. Oh my god, those are berserk aliens are aggressive. Damn. Let's go. Okay, now we just need to find that last alien. Which, honestly, I could do on my own, but... Let's see if Rex has anything to say. Maybe he'll help me lead the way. Oh yeah, flying saucer. Zip line. Is Mr. Potato Head not in this level? Okay, so he's only telling- I don't think Mr. Potato Head is here. Maybe I don't get the rocket boots until later. Okay, well, next mission, I guess, look for the zipline course. Slash flying saucer. I'm guessing it might have to do with this area. Ah, damn it. I went too far back. I forgot to save. Well, whatever. We didn't lose that much progress. I wonder who's the big boss of Alice Coin Barn. It has to be Rock and Sock and Robots, right? There's still a chance, right? That'd be so funny. Damn it. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'll look around the level for a long, level for a bit. Maybe I'll be able to find something. What the heck? You have to do like an extra jump here. Ah. Uh, platforming. Okay, that's fine. I'll, um, try to get to the right save state and not mess anything up. Okay, there. No time to lose. That could have messed everything up, seriously. <laughs> I am relieved.
Wouldn't be the first time I accidentally save over a game with an earlier save randomly. You know, I haven't really found a single time in this game where I really use this. Freaking... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's one in the wall. I saw one in the wall. Load. A single time in the game where I really need to lock on to things with the first person mode. Is it supposed to go up there? Why does it look like I can? Oh yeah, I still haven't figured out what this shield is for, but... You know what, I'm just gonna look it up. Hold on. Hold up, everyone. <sighs> Toy Story 2 Guide, IGN. Oh, I still have a top up for it. I can't find this flying saucer anywhere. Maybe I'm just in the wrong section of the store. I didn't see a single flying saucer. Like, what the heck? Okay, next level, I get the chance I should game over on purpose. I can't think of any obvious downsides to game overing, so... By buying that zip line course, I beat this level though, because that's the last part I need to do. It's not over here. It's not over here. These look like the same area, but they're actually different. Maybe it's this way. I am Buzz Lightyear. I'm oh yeah, this is the area I was criticizing earlier for its inaccurate depiction of Toy Story lore. Oh! Hi. Um, you look weird. Holy crap, this looks fun. Oh wow, I didn't even touch this area at all. I mean, in all fairness, it all kind of looks the same.
Holy crap, he's dead. Go, Buzz! Okay, that was pretty cool. Oh, there was an alien at the end. No time to lose. I wonder if there's anything at the bottom, though. Okay, not really. It's just a bunch of nothing. And I don't want to mess with that server robot. Okay, yeah, I was right. There's absolutely nothing to do here. Let's go. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I think I got them all. Or at least almost all of them. Let's go. Grappling hook. Okay, we're almost done with this stream, I guess. Because I like to do two levels and then the boss. Because that's, that's a good structure for these. Like, the levels are just long enough where, like, each of them on their own aren't that bad. And, um... Yeah. Toy barn and cow. Okay, it's not Rock'em Soccer Robots, but it's that thing. You know what? I might want to just die. Bruh. Holy crap, what? Okay, it's an enemy gauntlet. Yeah, cool music. I did pretty good in that Owl Spaceland level. Also, this music's sick. An ancient observer, if I ever saw one. The randomly placed movie quote stuff is basically the same energy as those, like, children's, like, audiobook things where they just have a random quote from the movie. Or, like, those toys that, like, you press a thing and it says a quote. And it's, like, random. Out of context.
Okay, this is easy. Oh no. Okay, come on. Hurry along now. An ancient observed if I ever saw one. I don't even know, remember where in the movie they say that. Is that from, like, the fake buzz? When is that said? In either one or two? Okay, come on. Let's go. An ancient observed if I ever saw one. That's what he's saying. Oh my god, I forgot about the Chad Buzz face. Let's go, Chad Buzz. Chad Buzz. Okay, let's go. Cutscene time. They're gonna go to Pizza Planet, aren't they? Bonus movie awarded. Oh, it's stuff with Woody again. Oh, never mind. Correct. Wait, is this? That's regular buzz. This is like my one of my favorite scenes. I love the parts where they like do the epic stuff in the movie. It's like a small part, but like it's cool. Oh yeah, we're gonna. There's gonna be a Zerg fight later. Oh my god, that is real. Is there actually a Zerg toy where you can look through, where you can look through the freaking like goggle thing? Oh, we're going through the elevator. I knew it. Let's see what it looks like, and then I'll just quit it. Actually, I should probably just save here. Save the cutscene for next time. But, uh, that was pretty fun, everyone. I'm glad I played that again. I'll probably play again, again um, like, tomorrow, maybe? Or the day after? But, um, yeah, um... For those who like to see Toy Story and stuff, um, you can follow me on Twitch, and I also have a YouTube channel where I archive my um, streams. Yeah, uh, called Ultra Mario 3K Ar uh, Archives. But yeah. Anyway, um, have yourselves a good one, everybody, and um, take care. Also, dang, no, no local. But, but, but that's like a cool part. Okay.